Paul Quist here to talk about one of my favorite underrated topics from Disney, Tron. I love Tron. And as we celebrate 41 years of a great flick that not many people have seen, we have casting updates. Like, in my mind, it took so long for Tron Legacy to get made after Tron that rumors, whatever, and then when they released that trailer from their San Diego Comic-Con, they're like, oh my God, it's happening! So that we're getting trickles of updates and all that, and this has been happening for almost, you know, 13, 14 years now. I mean, we're closing the gap between sequels, so I'm happy with that, but I would definitely like to see more. Anywho, we knew Jared Leto, and we've known for a while that Jared Leto was involved. To what capacity, I don't know. I do not have the hate of Jared Leto that most people do. I quite frankly don't understand it. I think he's a very talented actor. Yeah, he's weird, but let's be frank, all actors are weird at some level. Is he a musician? Is he an actor? Why does he choose the vehicles he chooses? I don't know, but I don't really have a problem with him. I thought he was great in Fight Club. I had no problem with his version of the Joker. Um, he's been in a lot of great other movies, Panic Room, so I don't understand it. I'm fine with it, as long as the story's tight. We don't know that yet. But now, we have more casting. Uh, Greta Lee has come on board. Sarah Desjardins has come on board. Jodie Turner-Smith has come on board. And the two big ones that I'm kind of like, okay, I'm on board. Evan Peters, who recently played everyone's favorite serial killer from Ohio, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, interesting. Uh, obviously, he's just an amazing actor, so I'm... Very excited to see him join. And then my favorite video game actor, can I say that and not be condescending? Cameron Moynihan. Um, I love this dude, man. I love the game. Uh, I love his commercials with Mark Hamill. Uh, I think he's a phenomenal actor as well. I was a big fan of his character on Shameless. I thought that was a great character arc, a great storyline, just phenomenal acting. And you know, we got to see him grow up on the show. I'm really excited to see what's going down. The one thing I really want to hear, and I've not heard it not happening, but dude, as busy as all get out, and I still can't fathom what he was doing in Tron Legacy, Cillian Murphy, I want to see the Dillinger storyline continue. I want to see if it's a twist where he's a good guy. I want to see him carry on his dad and be a bad guy. Yes, I know all about the Easter eggs and all the other stuff on the uh, DVD releases and, and Blu-ray releases. So I've watched all those things and behind the scenes and, and Ram and, and how Tron and Ellen were working together. And uh, I want to see more. I want to have this touch more on the original, bring that back. And I want to see Dillinger in some shape or form. I fully understand that David Warner has passed away. Rest in peace. Loved him as an actor, so we're not going to see the original Dillinger. But this is a Disney movie, and oh my goodness, they brought out Lucasfilm and ILM, and we have already seen Grand Moff Tarkin return. Who knows what they can do? I just love Tron, and I want to see it handled the way it should be. I think the games that have come out, I think the animation that came out, Uprising, was just phenomenal. I really did enjoy Legacy. I just think they can do so much with this world, and I hope they treat it right and write a good story. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Tron Aries.